Live from the Multi-GP Headquarters, this is Multi-GP News. Today on Multi-GP News, the 2017 National Championships drawing to an end. Multi-GP News has the full breakdown, plus interviews with some of the competing pilots. Then we caught up with 17-year-old Alex Vanover, your new Multi-GP National Champion for this year. The minor slip-up, he says, could have cost him the winning title. All this and much more coming up on Multi-GP News. It's time for our 2017 National Championship Recap. The best pilots in the country joining forces at the Reno Air Races to compete for a chance to take home the 2017 national title. The competition growing intense by the second, leaving spectators on the edge of their seats. Multi-GP News has the full championship recap. Jared J. Rod Quillen bringing his A-game to the 2017 National Championships this year after some nail-biting moments which ultimately led him to the Final Four. Battling among some of the best pilots in the country was a challenge of its own, many of which were younger than 18 years of age. But for J. Rod bolting right through the fast 56 and into the Final 16 was rewarding to say the least but his ultimate satisfaction came when he zipped through the start-finish gate, making him the third fastest pilot in the country. Turtle mode giving J-Rod another chance to make it to the finish line after crashing out in the middle of the final four. He's your second runner-up, third on the podium, Jared! Gil 32 bits of Gil Coronado had a few bumps in the road just getting to Reno but that didn't stop him from getting to the national championship race. Mark McGapp Bramer, who had raced with Gil many times, says his second place win at the 2017 Nationals not only shows how great of a pilot he is, but he also had Lady Luck on his side. I'm talking to Gil right now. He was the most lucky person that day. He was so <laughs> lucky. Oh man, because he crashed, got back up with turtle mode twice, and once with me, and then once in another one. And uh, wow, he was lucky. Um, every time he barely made it in, just barely making it, and then made it to the finals, and he made it. So, you know, definitely there is skill, but you are lucky. So, you know, great pilot. I love you. And here is your 2017 multi-GP national champion, 17-year-old Alex Vanover from Texas. So it was it's the first big win for me in my career. Uh, being the youngest multi-GP drone racing champion is it's a pretty amazing feeling. Uh, it's still, even a week after, it's still sinking in just how, I guess, awesome it is. But uh, no, it's definitely a good feeling. It, it just goes to show that the, uh, the it's kind of like the young kids, you know, we can we can fly, so it's there's this rivalry going on right now, and uh, it's just a good time. Every professional pilot has consistent laps and a good strategy, and for Alex, the plan was simple. So my strategy for the Fast 56 was to, I knew there were three rounds of racing, and it was your best single round out of three, so I figured I would, I knew from practice I could set a fast enough qualification time, so I needed to go in there and not screw up essentially. So the first round I took in about 80% of my capabilities and at the time I, that was like third overall still. So I felt good and then uh, going into my second and third rounds I just progressively got better and better because I I set a, I made myself set a foundation to set off of that I knew would be a good starting point knowing I would have, as long as the first round went well, I'd have two more after that. And uh, so it worked out well for me in that case. Fast 56 would have worked out well. So what exactly happened during the end of the final 16 that knocked Freefall out of the race? Chance is a very good pilot. I, I don't know him very well. I saw him at International Open, and then he came out to Nationals, and he blew my mind. Chance was behind me the whole time, and we're finishing our fourth lap. We were both guaranteed to move on, and he passes me. And I saw him, and I, I've learned from racing that it's – very strategic to find those chances to pass people and not just try and pass them immediately. So I was going to pass him going into that tall gate. Well, he took his line very tight and he turned right in front of me and I've reviewed the DVR so many times and he turned in front of me and I just saw it coming, but it was too late. He 
so I rear-ended him, and my video went cold, and I thought I was done. Um, in in his unluckiness and in my luckiness, he stayed flying, but in his recovery, he flew into the net, and my battery unplugged, and I landed right there on the ground. So I think the nerves went through me. I thought my day was done at that point. I was just like, you know, Ivan, I'm, I'm sorry I've come this far, and he was like, don't worry about it, man. Just stay relaxed, and... I guess it was just chance was on my side. Chance, chance was on my side that day. Luck was on my side, and uh, seeing my quad closer to that game, Chris Thomas making the official announcement. That was it was definitely rewarding, and uh, it's it goes back to the to what I say, and I know it's I'm not the only one to say it. A lot of part of racing is just seventy percent skill, and the other thirty percent just happens to be what's going on the day of the race. And that there was no control from either one of our standpoints on what would happen when we midair. It was just by chance of the day that I was a little bit closer. He he definitely deserved to move on just as much as I did. He's a phenomenal pilot. I, I can't wait to see him at future events for sure. Alex Vanover is now the idol he once saw and pro pilot Sean Knight Fury Taylor. But what I would really like to see is uh, Sean Taylor versus Captain Vanover uh, oh, yeah. race. And, to, and, it, and if it's not through nationals, Sean Taylor, if you're watching this, and I'd love to meet up with you sometime, and let's just have a head-to-head -head race, man. You know, I've aspired to be as fast as you, and hopefully now I'm at least, if not on your level, close to your level, and uh, let's go have some fun, man. But I look forward to next year, look forward to being competitive, and uh, this is gonna, just gonna keep practicing, you know. He's worked hard to earn the 2017 National Championship title, and he's not stopping anytime soon. Yeah. I, I, I will say this regarding 2018 and the National Drone Racing Championship from Old Side GP. I will be there. You know, I was worried that if something else came up, a racing event, that I wouldn't be able to go. But I would choose Multi GP at the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it's, I know the people so much. And we have so much fun at events. They're so supportive of me. And uh, I'll, I'll choose Multi GP. Uh, first 2018 results go, I would love to take the crown a second time. I know there's a lot of fast pilots who would love to to rematch with me and uh, have their shot. And by all means, any one of these pilots could definitely take me down and win it. Seventeen-year-old Alex Vanover is currently a senior in high school. He plans on taking a short break to focus more on drone racing before heading off to college full-time in the coming years. And when we come back, meet some of the fastest pilots in the country who almost took down the championship races. Find out just how close they came to taking the title home. Plus, our crashes of the week. Stick around. We've all heard the saying, almost doesn't count, and these top 12 pilots couldn't agree any more after coming extremely close to taking the championship title in Reno last week. Here's what they had to say about the close competition. The Multi-GP 2017 National Championships has officially come to an end, and many who made it out to Reno, and even those who didn't, still talking about the incredible race last week. So, when I got into Final 16, we started the double elimination, of course. Um, and ended up my first double elimination bracket. I think I won that just because everyone else crashed um, and I stayed up. For 14 year old Chance Freefall Hartman and many of his fans, it was hard to see him get knocked out, especially after watching him rip through several heats, making the top qualifying time in the race. Well, I knew because getting top two in those races it's kind of hard especially because there's only four pilots so i wanted to stay in first but i was completely fine with second and i knew i was in first so i was just taking it slow trying to complete the laps and then i got hit but yes i got mid-air from behind in the second to last gate his parents also going through the emotional roller coaster after an unexpected mid-air collision sent his quad straight into the protective netting, putting him in fifth place overall. And that was heartbreaking. Um, you know, he shouldn't have even been in that round. We had some uh, problems with the quad in the round before that put him in that round. And so it was just, you know, it's kind of like watching all of his dreams get washed away. Uh, but I thought he handled it like a, like a champ. 
It just, you know, the chips didn't fall in his favor. 16-year-old Mark McGab Bramer, who was the first pilot to make three six-lap runs during the regional finals, also had a huge fan base, but didn't make it past ninth place. And maybe if I had remembered the course, I probably could have almost caught up, but I, I know I couldn't have um, took in second because Nerf was pretty far ahead. But after I hit heads up, I couldn't remember the course. The whole time Mike was trying to explain where I was supposed to be, and I was like running around in circles, and I, I it was mind blown. I, I couldn't remember. Most importantly, McGap wants to thank Multi GP for everything that they've done. Thanks to MultiGP because I like the way they do their events, how you work up from something small and make it big. And everyone says it, but it really is awesome because you go through the summer, you start with everybody, then you just work up, get bigger and bigger, and then you see everybody there. So I, I think that's great. Every year they've done it, but it's really awesome. I really enjoyed, you know, going to the races and cheering them on and spending time together as a family. and. Um, not just, you know, our family, but I think the whole drone community is um, a bunch of really great people. So it's, um, you know, everyone is really nice. We all, you know, get, know each other and, and uh, of course, race together. And it, it's a really great community of people that uh, I, I'm really proud and, and glad to be a part of. Now let's check out our Crashes of the Week. If you would like your crash featured on an upcoming episode, email your videos to news at multigp.com. Remember, we're aiming to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching. I'm Kalara Manade reporting for MultiGP News. If you like this video, press the like button below, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in being showcased in the next episode of MultiGP News, please contact us at news at multigp.com.